Welcome back to another RC Worst video. Today we're going to talk about a convertible jet pump and what a convertible jet pump is. And I guess ultimately that will allow you to figure out what a non-convertible or shallow well jet pump is. So there's really only two types, a shallow well jet pump and a convertible jet pump because in almost every case, at least that I'm aware of, if there's no such thing as a deep well jet pump, you just simply make a shallow well jet pump into a two pipe jet pump and you get a deep well performance out of it. So anyways, enough rambling. So what I have here in my hand, um, talk about this first so I can put it down. This is a two pipe jet ejector system. So basically what it does is on this pump in here, I'll show you in just a second because I got that other one hooked up, is a, a two pipes. So you've got a suction line which is inch and a quarter and you've got a return line which is one inch. So you would run two pipes down the well one would be the return, one would be the suction line, and basically the way that this works is the water comes in from here into the well, or from the well, in, in through the foot valve here, up the suction line, into the pump, and typically in order to get this process started you have to have both lines fully primed, and while the pump is running, it's pushing water through the return line, which since water takes the path of least resistance and you've got suction on this side, the water is going to come through the return line down here and then in here is like a little uh, nozzle, it's like a high pressure nozzle so it reduces down to a really small hole and what that does is increases the velocity of the water so that the pump is able to draw water up higher than it would normally because of that increase in velocity. So that's essentially the way that these two pipe jet ejectors work. They do make single pipe jet eject ejectors that um, don't have a return line. Well, they still have the return line, but the well itself is sealed off. So like a PVC well where it's sealed off rather than having the threads here to seal it off. Um, and those work basically the same way. It's just, uh, I prefer the two pipe systems just because they're a lot easier and more predictable and you don't have to deal with the sealing of the well. Um, so enough said about that, let's take a look at the shallow well. <clears throat> so this is a convertible pump. Um, we've got it cut out here, you can see impeller, diffuser, and then this little clear section here, that is the injector here. Okay, so how this works is, you've got the water that's being pumped into the inlet here in a shallow well configuration. It go travels down through the jet and then into the eye of the pump's impeller. Now a portion of that water is returned, there's a return where the return line is is down underneath here, so it would be accessible in the volute. So a portion of that water gets returned and forced back through the jet at a higher velocity than what it's being drawn in at to increase the pressure, allowing a jet pump to deliver a higher maximum pressure than if it were running without this jet. It's all because we're increasing the velocity. It's the same way that the deep well injectors work, only they, their main purpose is to be able to allow the water to be drawn from greater depths, whereas this pump, this configuration's main purpose is to be able to allow the pump to operate at a higher maximum pressure or higher operating pressure. You do sacrifice a little bit of flow in this situation. So let's pop this off, and then you can see what the front looks like here. So this is what I was talking about. You've got the suction line, inch and a quarter, and the return line, one inch. And on this one here, you can see that's where the return line is, circulating water back through the jet at a higher velocity once it's been sped up by the impeller. And then you've got this line here, which goes back into the ion impeller, spins it back up, and then spits it out through your discharge, which on this pump, the discharge is right over on this side, or you could use this if you wanted to, but typically you save the horizontal one for priming. So in a nutshell, that is a convertible jet pump. So of course a shallow well jet pump wouldn't have the ability to change out this particular piece. This piece would be mounted or uh, stuck to the pump in some way so that it could only operate in shallow well configurations and you wouldn't have the option to hook into that return line to run a deep well pump. 
All right, so that's our video. I hope you got a good idea of what a convertible jet pump is, and hopefully that helps you determine in your buying process which pump you actually need. As always, we're standing by to answer any questions that you might have as far as sizing or selecting a pump that's appropriate for your application. And of course, we've got a huge selection of pump available on rcworks.com. So don't forget to like and subscribe if you learned something from this video. That definitely helps us grow as a channel, and we'll catch you next time.